Saints Row is back for its first proper instalment in nearly a decade, and while there are clear signs that the series has evolved with the times, you'd be forgiven if you occasionally thought this game came out in 2012. But is that a bad thing? I mean, after all, you buy a Saints Row game for the humour and over-the-top plot, not so that you can have some kind of deep cerebral experience. And the reboot does deliver on the kinds of themes you'd expect from the franchise, just with a nice modern twist. I come for your crown. <laughs> But there are times when the reboot feels too rooted in the open-world action-adventure gameplay of older Saints titles or even GTA V, with a lot of drive here, shoot there missions that lean heavily on the combat that doesn't always hit. It's in these moments and in snippets of cringy dialogue that feel like a Gen Zer character was written by a boomer that Saints Row really does feel a little bit out of sync. And that's the game. However, when you take part in the array of criminal ventures you can in an effort to establish your new gang, called the Saints, as the head gang in the city of Santo Elizo, you can branch out and enjoy some seriously wacky gameplay, like towing a mobile meth lab so you can blow it up in the middle of the desert, or getting hit by as many cars as possible to make money off insurance companies. It's in these kind of gameplay moments, and when the newer, younger cast gets to throw around zingers and be genuinely kind to one another, that Saints Row really sings. There's a solid story here, with a likeable and diverse cast of characters, making it easy for you to root for the saints. Driving around the absolutely gorgeous city of Santo Elizo, while Princess Nokia blasts from the speakers of a custom hot pink sedan with neon green underglow lights is an experience we all should have at some point in our lives, and Saints Row gives you the chance to enjoy that in spades. <laughs> This new city is huge and beautiful, with genuinely breathtaking vistas and incredibly detailed designs that beg for exploration. From the dusty deserts of the Sanatorium Flats to the neon-soaked casino-lined streets of El Dorado, I could spend hours sideswiping cop cars and carjacking hot rods, and never get tired of it. Ultimately, there is a lot to like in the new Saints Row, but there's also plenty to constructively criticise. I mean, it's great to get an open-world crime game after what feels like an eternal drought. We just wish that Saints Row would have taken the concept and ran with it to the bank. Before robbing said bank, of course. We give Saints Row three stars out of five.